Yo, what is up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another comparison video. And today we are comparing the Nike KD12 versus the Under Armour Curry 6. Let's get it. First and foremost, if you want either of these shoes, head over to the description box below, click the link to the Pro Direct Basketball website and they will take care of you. But before you do that, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Like this video, hit that thumbs up and show your support. We really appreciate it. Comment down below what your pick is between the Curry 6 or the KD12. And of course, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video. Now, Stephen Curry and Kevin Durant are two of the greatest players to ever play on the hardwood. Steph Curry, it's not even arguable, I was gonna say right. arguably, he's the greatest shooter of all time. And KD, arguably the greatest scorer of all time. Up I there. think he's the greatest scorer Up of all there. time. Come on, yeah, I'm with you. He's a bucket. But today, like always, we aren't talking about the players themselves. We are talking about the shoes that they hoop in. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, firstly, like always, talking about aesthetics. Now, I have to say that both these shoes do please the eye. They are great eye candy. I hear that. Okay? I hear that. I love that. Like all shoes, there are certain colorways that, that shine more than Bro. others. But if I'm going to have to pick one of these two, I think it's a KD thing. I also think it's a KD thing. I think it's a KD thing. I also think it's a KD thing. The KD cold. The swoosh is absolutely beautiful. I love it when Nike puts a massive swoosh on I, the I, I'm side. Moving massive, yeah, I'm moving you know massive. Talking and colorways, the Fox Theatre. Oh my God. I'm messing with it. Yeah. I'm messing with it tough on the Curry 6. Yeah. However, the 90s colorway in this bad boy, oh. the cherry red. Ah, yeah. Ah, Let's move on to the next one. Let's move on. Next up, talking about the traction. Now, Flo, turn this shoe. Oh snap, my bad, <laughs> my fault. Over here in the KD12, we have that racetrack razor blade traction pattern, which performed beastly. Yeah. This was a madness. Yeah. We've seen razor blades before in a couple shoes. Nike do razor blades really well. They I do. can't lie. Yeah. And in this shoe was no exception. It was incredible. Because they're individual nodes, yeah. they move with the foot, which means you're getting coverage pretty much every which way you move. Step backs, twists, and turns. We say it every time you're taken care of yeah. when we're talking KD12. I love the traction in these shoes. It banged severely. That's what I've got to say. Over here, the traction also banged severely. Too. I get that. What we have is the circles and stripes traction pattern with the split outsole design. Yeah. Arm Dharma did an amazing job. I mean, the Curry line, the Curry collection is known to having really good traction patterns yeah. and the Curry 6 is up there with all of those too. Now, we've been boarding in the Curry 6s for a while now. Facts. And some of you in the comment sections have informed us that your outsoles have been peeling off. I'm talking about the split parts mm. in, in, in the outsole. But we haven't experienced that just yet. Hopefully we don't. So we're going off our experience so far, but the Curry 6 traction pattern is really, really good. Is it better than the KD? Ah, it's a close one, man. I'm not gonna say it is. It's, a, it's really close. It's though, close. Though. No, I, I hear that. It's definitely close. Yeah, man. They're similar in time. No, no, they're not similar. This is more razor blade and that's more kind of deep, straight grooves along with yeah. the circles. So there's two different traction patterns. There are some nodes on that one. I'm gonna go with a razor blade. Yeah, that's the razor, razor blade. Yeah. The cake in the Just by a little bit. Just the edge. Next up, talking about cushioning. Now, unlike traction, cushioning is an aspect of the curry line where they've been a little bit lacklustre to me. Mm. Yeah, they're falling behind a little bit. However, in the Curry 6s, we have Hover. Now, it confuses me a little bit why they don't just put Micro G in all the Curry shoes because Micro G bangs. However, Hover technology was, was really good too. It was really responsive, provided you an amazing court feel, really good court feel, and I think that's what Curry wants. So yeah, that full length Hover, Hover foam technology, this is really good. Now over here in the KD12, full length zoom, like you've never seen it before. Quick rundown. So when you build a shoe, there's something called a strobe wall, which is basically what connects the upper to the outside of the shoe, the, the lower part of the shoe, if you will. Yeah. Nike have replaced that part of the shoe with a full length zoom bag. So it is directly under your foot. Then put another zoom bag under that for the heel, 
but encased it with a Phylon carrier, which is called out, to give you a different experience when we're talking cushioning. This is my favorite zoom setup of all time. I love full length, but in this way, felt incredible. I highly, highly urge anyone who has not tried it to at least go try them on. They felt insane. Low to the ground, hella court feel. Response was epic. We know it is when we're talking Zoom. Yeah. Impact protection, which normally you don't get when we're talking Zoom, but yeah. by doubling up and getting that smaller Zoom bag in the heel, plus that strobe ball Zoom, you're getting great impact protection, along with the Phylon carrier. Ha! Ah. So I think without saying too many more words, it's a point to the KD12 and that Zoom Strobel board. My God. Another one. We're not doing too well on this side right now, are we? I wasn't gonna say anything. We're just gonna, we're just gonna move on. Let's cool. see if we can see what we can do later. Next up, talking about the materials. Now over here in the KD12, we've got a full textile mesh construction along with synthetics for the highway areas. Along with a very plush fly knit tongue for comfort. Ooh, felt amazing. Really, really nice. Yep. It was soft to touch. Also very breathable, very lightweight as well. Yep. Textile mesh itself, breathable. No, I wouldn't say it's too breathable, but very flexible as well. But a little stiff, a little on the stiffer mm. side. It's not what we're used to when we're talking mesh. Engineered meshes or your regular meshes are a little bit more flexible. Textile has a bit more structure to it. Mm. So it's almost a preference thing. Yeah. Took a little bit more time to break in, yeah. which we don't love, but it did feel really good. It ends up conforming to the foot because of it being a mesh. Super, super nice, all in all. So yeah, zeros ain't bad, not bad at all. Over here in the Curry Sixes, we have more of a simplistic setup. Okay. Me. We have a fully knitted construction. I think there's also some elastane in there somewhere yeah, as well. Yeah, it feels that way. Because no. it is elastic and stretchy. Yeah. The materials here were just beautiful to me. I, I wasn't expecting it. Of course not, yeah. From yeah. the Curry Force, for some of you guys that don't know, that shoe was probably the hardest shoe to break in. Hardest shoe. It's three years into the future, <laughs> and the shoe, I don't think, has still broken in to the point that Under Armour wants me to experience that shoe. Nah, All right? nah, nah. However, here, this shoe had zero breaking time. None whatsoever. Straight out the box, the materials conform to your foot nicely. They're extremely comfortable lightweight, breathable, it's everything you want in a knitted up He ain't lying. Yeah. He ain't lying. And with all that being said, I think the point goes to the Curry 6. He ain't lying. We're down 3-1, but it's cool. We've been here before, haven't we? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Next up, talking about the fit. Now, this is a bit of a weird one, yeah. right? Because the Curry collection has also been known to be quite narrow fitting. Yeah. However, I think because of the knitted upper, this shoe just feels regular. Mm. It's a really nice fitting shoe, and the materials also provide this compression-like fit, which feels buff. It's something you definitely need to experience if you haven't experienced this before. The fit was beautiful. Beautiful. Good fit, man. <laughs> I knew I'm always coming. <laughs> now, over here in the KD12, the fit is pretty regular. Yeah. Now, also has been known that KD has his long, narrow feet, so his shoes have also been quite a narrow foot. I would still say the same for this as well, right. but it's closer to regular. I right. felt there was no issues for myself when lacing these up. I really enjoyed them. They felt lovely, true to size as well. So whatever size you are, get that size. Talking of materials again, the textile material, a little bit more harder to break in. So at the same time, had a little effect on the fit in time, but they still fit really, really well. Nothing crazy, but really, really well. Yeah. Just one more thing before I steal this point to me. Here we go. Um, I want to talk about the lacing system as well. Ooh. The lacing system in the shoe is beautiful. As you guys can see, the lace loops go all the way around the shoe. So when you lace the shoe up, the heel comes in as well and provides this amazing fit. Along with that compression-like fit, the fit here is just really, really nice. So I think with that being said, the point goes to the Curry 6 and we are now 3-2 down and it's time for a comeback. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Now next up, talking about the support. Now here in the KD12, we finally have a great support system. Yeah. Something I've longed for for long, a long, long time when talking KD, but we finally have it in this shoe. We have an outrigger shape along with a cushion system that actually comes up a little higher as well to help, along with a TPU barrier and the TPU heel counter as well. 
it's all kicking off on this side. It's nice. We're finally getting that lateral support that I believe I deserve when we're talking to KD Shoe. I don't know how he's been doing it in those 10s and 11s, but the 12 came through 100%. Now I said all that, but I haven't even got to the quad axle fly wire yet. It's crazy. We've all heard of Flywire since 2000, I think 12 now. Flywire's been, 2008, sorry, Flywire's been around for a while. So 11 years on, we've gone quad axle, which basically means you've got Flywire going in all directions. You're getting it from the laces that we've been used to, but we're also getting it across the shoe, which is actually color coded for a very tiny window, which you can see on the shoe. Yellow, pink, and blue kind of Flywire all across the shoe, all reacting when you move, just like Flywire always has, but in every single direction. It helped with the fit and it did a madness with the support. They felt insane. Love the support in the KD12. This shoe banged severely. I wish I could be as enthusiastic about <laughs> the support as Timmy is over on that side, but I can't, unfortunately. The support system in the Chorus 6, we believe, is incomplete yep. because I think this shoe is designed to be worn with an ankle brace. Yep. However, we do have our usual suspects. We have the outrig of the shoe. We have the overall fit of the shoe that comes from a compression-like fit from the materials and an external TPU heel counter. Mm -hmm. So all that being said, yes, I think if we did have an ankle brace on, mm -hmm. the support system would be as good as the, car, uh, the KD I hear that. 12s. However, we don't, can't afford one. So incomplete support system. And unfortunately the point has to go to the KD and we are down for two. So, I guess, so tough. I guess we can't really call it a comeback. The next step, we're talking about the price, AKA Flo's favorite category. On one side, we have the KD12, which are priced at 130 pounds here in the UK. On the other side, my side, we have the Curry 6s that are priced at 115 pounds. Now it's not which shoe is cheaper, no. it's which shoe is better value for your money, all right? Now this is a tough one. And the way we did this basically yeah. is we asked ourselves, we said, if we had 130 pounds yeah. and we had a choice between these two shoes, yeah. would you just pay the full money and yeah. get the KDs? Walk out of nothing. Or pay 115 for these, save 15 pounds and maybe get yourself some socks or an ankle brace. And the answer to that question is, I would pay 130 pounds. So would I. Because that full length zoom unit, it's for me personally, different. I mean, it is a different experience. Wow. Not only is full length zoom both our favorite cushioning system, the full length zoom in this shoe, sorry, is the best rendition of full length zoom of all time, yeah. in our personal opinion. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. It's mad. If you haven't experienced it yet, get the KB12s. I hope Nike doesn't do this thing now where they put it in one shoe and don't put it in any shoe on. ever again. Makes no sense. I hate when they do that. Every shoe that has full length zoom from now on should have this setup. Okay? Facts. So the point goes to the KDs. All right? Better value for your money and your experience. So, all right, guys, there you have it. Looking at the scores, the Nike KD12 comes out on top at 5'2". Something light. Something light. Something so, so light. This shoe is no joke. We already talked about how amazing that cushion and setup is. We've got great materials. We've got amazing support, finally, in the KD12. Traction is nothing to be scoffed at. Wow. Yeah. Wow, wow, and another wow. I mean, by no means is the Curry never, 6 a bad shoe. Never, never the say traction that. also banged over here. 100%. And don't forget that the materials and the fit trump the KD12. It did. Of course, we have an incomplete support system. However, it doesn't really do much. You know what I mean? It doesn't really take away from the experience of the shoe. I hoop without an ankle brace and the support is just fine. However, for the comparison's sake, the point has to go to the KDs. However, this is still a really great shoe. Oh, facts. And probably the best curry of all time. Oh, 100%. So, so, far, so far, so far. So far, so far, so far, so far. So, so yeah. So that's it from us. Like we mentioned before, if you want either the curry 6s or the KD12s, hit the link in the description box below to the Proderick Basketball website and they will take care of you. But before you do that, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Like this video, hit that thumbs up. We really, really appreciate it and it helps us out massively. Comment down below which pick is your pick. Are you talking the Curry 6 or are you talking the KD12? And of course, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video because they're dope. So all right guys, there you have it. This is the Nike KD12. This is the Under Armour Curry 6. We're Pure Kicks. 
Let's get it.